Hello, it's Peter again. Welcome back to this series on Wireless Embers. Today we'll talk more about security modes in Wireless Embers. In Wireless Embers we have defined several security modes. And some new modes are currently defined in the new EN13757 series, in the new part 7 to be published uh, later in 2018. And other security modes are also defined in the OMS, Open Metering System, or by Device Alliance. But first, what is security? Well, in Wireless Embus, we consider these elements of security. Confidentiality, or privacy, which means that nobody can listen in. Integrity, that the message was not changed. Authentication, to be sure that the message actually comes from the device it is supposed to come from. And finally, protection against playback, so that you cannot record a message and play it back later. So most of the modes are based on AES, using symmetrical keys. AES, or the Advanced Encryption Standard, actually comes from the US Defense Department. So security in, in Wireless Embus is defined by the transport layer. So this defines which security mode is used. And sometimes we have to use the AFL, the Authentication and Fragmentation layer, in order to support authentication. So the encryption is using the AES-128, that's the 128-bit type of encryption, and very often using a hardware coprocessor to do the encryption. The AES modes that may be used is the CBC or the CTR, the counter mode. Authentication is done by adding a MAC, a message authentication code, or also a, called a hashtag. And the typical algorithms for that is the CMAC or the GMAC. We may also use some key derivation function which means that we are never using the same key again. Then we have message counters. So each message has a unique counter value. And this counter value is used to make a unique initialization vector for the encryption algorithm. Or to make the unique key by using the key derivation function. So finally we have the different security modes, uh, numbered like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 13. And we will see some of these are also country specific due to local uh, requirements. So here is a table showing the different security modes in the wireless Ambus standard. Some of these modes are now outdated, such as uh, mode 2 and 3, but number 5 is still in use and was originally used in OMS. Mode 7 to 10 is supporting encryption as well as authentication. Mode 7 is now used in OMS. And also I can mention mode 13 which is using TLS, and this is a mode defined in OMS uh, because of some special requirements by the BSI in Germany. But that's another story. So, enough said for today, and hope this was useful to you. Please share with friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.